Now, let me discuss the antiviral agents or the antiviral drugs. The antiviral drugs, they can act at any step of the viral replication. So, what they do is, these antiviral drugs, they act by inhibiting the viral replication. And these antiviral drugs can act at any step of the viral replication. Alright, they can act at any step of the viral replication. Now, now if you see this particular viral replication, let me tell you the sequence of events what are taking place within the viral replication and also let me tell you what are the group of drugs which will be acting at each and every step. Now, if you take this viral replication, the first step of the viral replication involves the fusion of the virus to the host cell membrane and penetration inside the cell. So, the first step is the fusion of the virus, right? The fusion of the virus to the, right, to the host cell membrane, right? Fusion of the virus to the host cell membrane and penetration inside the cell. right penetration inside the cell now after this remember what will happen next now after the fusion and as well as penetration inside the cell then uncoating occurs and early proteins are synthesized so the next thing is the uncoating and as well as there will be Right, there will be early protein synthesis. Now, followed by this, right, followed by the early protein synthesis, the nucleic acids are then synthesized, and later on, there will be late proteins are being synthesized. Right, so next, there will be nucleic acid synthesis, followed by nucleic acid synthesis there will be late protein synthesis right followed by there will be late protein synthesis now now this particular late protein synthesis after this late protein synthesis is occurs then there will be package and assembly of the viral particles and finally there will be release of the white viral particles so after the late protein synthesis there will be what is called as the package and as well as assembly right there will be packaging right there will be packaging and as well as the assembly of the viral particles and following that there will be right following that there will be release of this particular viral particles and this new viruses they cause the infection of the other cells right they cause the infection of the other cells so these are the sequence of events which are occurring within the viral replication now these drugs can act any of this step and it will inhibit the viral replication now let me tell you like what are the various drugs which are acting at different steps in the viral replication. Now, let me tell you the mechanism of action of all these antiviral drugs. So, what we have discussed is these antiviral drugs, they inhibit the viral replication at different steps in the viral synthesis. Now, if you take the viral synthesis, what we have discussed, the synthesis of the viral particles starts from the fusion of the virus with the host cell and entry of the virus into the host cell. So, first let me take up the host cell. So, now you consider 
this is the host cell right you consider this is the host cell now what happens first the first thing is you take this particular viral particle so you have the viral particles now this particular viral particles or viruses it will fuse with the host cell and it will enter into the host cell so the first thing is the viral fusion and entry into the right and entry into the host cell so what is the first step here the first step is penetration right the first step is the penetration of the viral particles into the host cell right into the host cell now after penetration this particular viral particle it will undergo uncoating right it undergoes uncoating and after uncoating the next step is there will be formation of the early protein synthesis right there is early protein synthesis and after early protein synthesis there is nucleic acid synthesis right there is the nucleic acid synthesis followed by nucleic acid synthesis there is late protein synthesis and processing right late protein synthesis and as well as processing followed by the late protein synthesis and processing there is packaging of the viral particles right there is packaging of the viral particles now after packaging of the viral particles there is the release of the viruses right there is release of the virus okay now this viral particles whichever have been released they will infect the new host cell now now let me take up what are the antiviral drugs which are acting at different levels now first and foremost the viral fusion with the host cell and as well as entry into the host cell now what are the drugs which will inhibit the fusion and as well as the entry of the viral particles so the drugs which will inhibit the fusion and as well as the entry of the viral particles like what we have is like we have what is called as enfuvirtide right we have what is called enfuvirtide then we have meraviroc so next to the meraviroc we have docosanol right then we have docosanol and next to docosanol then we have palivizumab right palivizumab so these are the drugs which will interfere with the fusion and the entry of the viral particles into the host cell next now the next step is the uncoating right the next step is uncoating now the uncoating of this particular viral particles is inhibited by the antiviral drugs that is amantadine and as well as remantadine okay so this uncoating 
is inhibited by amantadine and as well as right this uncoating is inhibited by amantadine and as well as remantadine next next there is early protein synthesis this early protein synthesis remember is inhibited by the drug which is called as formivisen right so this early protein synthesis is inhibited by right it is inhibited by the formivisen next next thing is the nucleic acid synthesis this nucleic acid synthesis is inhibited by the anti metabolites and as well as the reverse transcriptase inhibitors so nucleic acid synthesis is inhibited by the group of drugs they include the anti metabolites and as well as reverse transcriptase inhibitors so anti metabolites and as well as reverse transcriptase inhibitors they will inhibit the nucleic acid synthesis next next we have the late protein synthesis and as well as the processing the late protein synthesis and processing is inhibited by the protease inhibitors right this is inhibited by protease inhibitors next the other thing is this particular packaging the packaging of the viral particles is inhibited by the drug which is called as rifampicin all right this packaging is inhibited by rifampicin next the release of the viruses remember the release of the viruses from the host cell is inhibited by a group of antiviral drugs which is called as neuraminidase inhibitors okay so the release is inhibited by neuraminidase inhibitors so neuraminidase inhibitors will inhibit the release of the virus so this is the mechanism of action of the various antiviral drugs so remember enfuvirtide maravirac doconazole and as well as palivuzumab they inhibit the viral fusion and entry of the viral particle into the host cell and you take the amantadine and as well as remantadine they inhibit the uncoating of the viral particles now formivisen will inhibit the early protein synthesis and the drugs which will inhibit the nucleic acid synthesis they include anti metabolites and as well as reverse transcriptase inhibitors the late protein synthesis and processing is inhibited by the protease inhibitors the packaging is inhibited by rifampicin and the release of the viral particles is inhibited by the neuraminidase inhibitors so this completes the mechanism of action of the antiviral drugs